Hi there, and welcome at Smelly Art. It seems like every month of the year has an art challenge these days. We have Inktober in November, we have March of Robots in March, and for the month of June we have Kaijun, which requires you to draw a Kaiju for every day of the month. And for you who don't know what a Kaiju is, Kaiju is a Japanese word that translates as strange beast, but often gets translated as monster as well. And we're talking about big monsters here that are taller than buildings that can destroy whole cities. The most popular Kaiju is Godzilla, so I guess now you know what I'm talking about here. Due to my busy schedule, I'm not able to do the whole Kaiju art challenge, but I thought it was a fun idea for this video to do at least one big epic monster. So let's not wait any longer and let's get drawing. Kaijun is a 30 day art challenge which was created by Riley Phillips, a character designer at Warner Brothers Animation Studios. It encourages creatives to draw a new character or their own take on a classic creature every day of the month. There is a prompt list but you can make up your own or just draw without a prompt list at all. I just made up my own monster here and started without a clear end product in mind. This is not necessarily the best way to create a character, but I was confident I would end up with a cool epic monster anyway. I'm not too happy with the face here, and you will see me erase it later on in the video and start over. And I decided to leave this part in the video to show you guys there is a lot of trial and error going on when it comes to character design. Okay, the rough sketch is done. Time to break out some pencils to finish these lines and to add more details. Like I said earlier in the video, Kaijun is the Japanese terminology simply meaning strange creature, but the word has been adopted elsewhere to basically translate to giant monster. Now, Kaiju films have been a wildly success in Eastern cinema since the 1950s, but for some reason it has never been a consistent success to Western audiences. The state of affairs, however, has changed today, which can be seen from the fact that the Pacific Rim and Monsterverse franchises have established themselves in the world of cinema. The 1954 Godzilla movie is commonly regarded as the first kaiju film. Kaiju characters are often somewhat metaphorical in nature. Godzilla, for example, serves as a metaphor for nuclear weapons, reflecting the fears of post-war Japan following the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the Lucky Dragon 5 incident. Other notable examples of kaiju characters include Rodan, Mothra, King Ghidorah and Gamera. are done it's time to kick this drawing into the last phase and that is here we go
Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys like my kaiju drawing. Do you want to see me do more of these big monster type characters? Let me know in the comment section. If you liked the video, why not hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. It's every Friday, a great way to start the weekend. And if you want to help me and this channel even more, please share my content on all your social media platforms. It helps a lot. I wish you all a great weekend, my friends. We will see each other again next Friday. Bye.